Good morning. Well, we're on our fourth day here at Disneyland, and I feel like I have a much better feel of the parks than I did before. And so today I want to give you the top 10 differences that I can see so far uh, between Walt Disney World and Disneyland. And uh, I mean, obviously the rides are different and stuff like that. So it's not like that. Uh, so, but things that I was kind of like, wow, this is amazing. This is so different than Walt Disney World. Okay. So number one, the food choices for quick service are totally different. My husband was actually just commenting yesterday that he hasn't had a hamburger yet. There is a lot more variety for quick service choices here at Disneyland. Disney World, you get a lot of burgers. And I mean, obviously there are other options, but, uh, not nearly as many sort of fast foodie options here at Disneyland. Um, it, it's much more variety. Number two, stroller parking is totally different here. I mean, people have strollers, not nearly as many strollers as what I'm used to seeing at Walt Disney World. Um, but, like, they don't have the the stroller attendants that sort of constantly move your things at, at Disney World, you can park your stroller in stroller parking, go do a ride, come back and have no clue where your stroller is. Uh, here at Disneyland, it's going to be exactly where you left it. So the stroller parking is significantly different. Number three, you wait for rides outside of the ride instead of in. I mean, there's a few, don't get me wrong, there's a few here in Disneyland that you are inside while you wait, but there's a lot more where you're outside where you wait. Uh, and so that causes, in my opinion, a lot more congestion on the streets because the lines are constantly bleeding out into um, the walkways. So that's number three. Number four, shopping is different here at Disneyland. Um, at Disney World, I'm used to every time you leave a shop, you I mean, every time you leave a ride, you dump out into a shop. Not the case here at Disneyland, which I personally love because I don't feel like I should be constantly buying stuff. Um, there are very specific areas for you to go to shop, but not nearly as many. And I don't feel like it's it's thrown in your face in the same way that it is uh, at Disney World. Number five, live music everywhere. This has been one of my absolute favorite parts of Disneyland is everywhere you go, there's live music. Uh, in California Adventure or at Disneyland, live music everywhere constantly. And I have loved that. I mean, there's no doubt to me that Disneyland kicks Disney World's butt in the live music department. Uh, number six, there's not as many people in Disney clothing. Uh, when you go to Walt Disney World, everybody you see pretty much is in a Mickey shirt or a goofy hat or, uh, you know, mini ears. Now, th I have noticed there's a lot of people in mini ears here. Um, but, but beyond that, like t-shirts and stuff, they're not decked head to toe in Mickey, where when you go to Walt Disney World, they are. This is probably due to the fact there's a lot more locals that come to Disneyland, but, um, yeah, I mean, everybody's always in, in, up in Disney stuff at Disney World, and, and that's not the case here at Disneyland at all. Number six. Oh, just kidding. I just did number six. Haha. <laughs> number seven, the entry and exit into the park, completely different. Completely different different. Okay, so now at Disney World, you get your little magic band, or you have your ticket, and you, they do the little scan, and even before that, you put your finger on the entry when you put your ticket in, and they would know it was you. That's not how they do it here at Disneyland. Um, so the very first day that we were here at Disneyland, they just took our ticket, and we walked through. The, the second day that we were at Disneyland, when we left the park at midday, um, they gave us a hand stamp that you couldn't see, but they could see it with a black light. So they gave us a hand stamp, and then we went back in the park. They checked the hand stamp, and they checked our ticket, and they checked to make sure our driver's license matched our ticket. I, don't, I haven't seen them do that anywhere else, um, but they did it that one time. And then the third day that we came in, they took our picture <laughs> as we were waiting in line to be able to identify us and the ticket so that there would there be people that were standing there with like a scanner they'd scan your ticket your face would show up they'd look at your face and then they'd know it was you so um and of course at disney world you just well you'll either walk through with your magic band and put your finger on the scanner um or uh, and and they'll check of course they're serious about checking your little black light thing here too when you come in that second one they're going to check that stamp we saw a woman kind of be a little snarky about it, I felt like, yesterday, because um, they're not consistent about it. But the entry and exit, totally different. Number eight, transportation time, 
you spend a lot less time on transportation here at Disneyland. Uh, when you go, when you stay on property at Walt Disney World, you wake up, you walk a long way from your, most likely from your room, unless you're in a deluxe, a long way from your room to where the buses are. And then you wait for a bus, which could be 20, 30 minutes. And then you get on the bus, and the bus it might take 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get to your park. And then you walk to the to the park even from there. That's not how it is here at Disneyland. Um, if you're staying on Harbor Street, which is where all the good neighbor hotels are, you can be, I would say, from almost anywhere on this street, you can be in the park within 10 minutes walking. Um, well, you want to go from one park to the next park, you don't get on a bus, you walk across the street. Uh, last night, we could see the fireworks at Disneyland from standing in the back of California Adventure. So I feel like you've got a lot more time that you really can spend in the parks because you're not spending as much time on transportation here at Disneyland. Number nine, there are vehicles all up and down Main Street here at Disneyland. I feel like I feel like when I'm at Disneyland around the hub, I'm going to get run over uh, pretty much constantly. I mean, you might see um, the horse and buggy and the firehouse every once in a while at Walt Disney World. There's like a bazillion of them here. <laughs> at Disneyland and they honk the horn and yeah so the car the car situation is really different um and then number 10 there's not as many photo pass people which I think is crazy um I mean that makes sense if you're local you're not constantly wanting to take your picture you've been to Disney you were probably there last weekend but uh you know like when you're going in your uh, Walt Disney World and you're walking down Main Street you can't go 10 steps without running into a photo pass person uh, I think I saw three photo pass people all day long yesterday at California Adventure um and you pretty much have to go to them they're not constantly stopping you and saying you want to take your picture you want to take your picture so the photo pass thing was really different so there you go the top 10 differences so far that I've noticed between Walt Disney World and Disneyland. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I would love to hear your comments and if you've been to both parks if you agree.